So let's take a quick look at some gaming on the Toshiba Oncode 2WT8. This is part of the full review which you'll find on notebookcheck.net. So uh, first of all let's take you through to F15 Carrier Lite. The right way up. And we'll play that. Graphics are pretty good. This is a fairly graphic intensive program actually. It uses the sensors as well, which aren't calibrated here. You can see it's quite responsive. Now if I hold it steady, you might see I'm just gonna I'm just, just gonna recalibrate that. So we'll calibrate it to that position. Right. Now watch the stability of the aircraft. There's a little bit of sensor instability in the vertical plane. On other tablets that is smooth, but there's a bit of instability there. But anyway, the whole thing, the program itself works uh, pretty well. The sensors are uh, responsive. So let's take a, something a little bit more uh, graphic intensive. This is um, Drift Street Mania Outlaws, this version, available in the Windows Store. All the graphics are smooth on this and uh, responsiveness is pretty good as well. So let's uh, load that up. You've got one gigabyte of RAM on this uh, device. So desktop gaming is a bit of a problem. Plus the graphics uh, chipset in this is not really that, that powerful. And the storage capability is also a little bit uh, limited with 32 gigs. Whoa, okay. I think I might have turned this sensitivity down on the steering here. Speakers are quite good, so the actual audio experience here is, uh, is pretty good. And that's Drift Street Mania Outlaws. So those two are pretty good to demonstrate. Um, graphics intensive Windows 8 uh, games. Here's one I like to, to use, and that's the Pinball FX2. It's really nice in 8 inch uh, Windows tablets. I'm just going to zoom out there slightly. It works really well in, in uh, portrait mode and the responsiveness of the screen is pretty good. Also the audio on this really does uh, help. Right, let's boost the audio up on that. Whoops. So that was uh, Pinball uh, FX2, Ragdoll Run I haven't downloaded, Wordament works really nicely on this, is quite responsive as well. But that gives you an idea of really the limits of this platform in terms of gaming. Uh, desktop gaming you have the problems of mm, the GPU not being very powerful, storage capacity and the 1 gig of RAM which will really limit uh, your experience. Once that page file starts uh, being used then uh, the performance will drop right off in terms of uh, gaming. So watch out for that. So once again, full review on notebookcheck.net of the Toshiba Encore 2 WT8. Thanks for watching.